up? It's your girl April. So today's video is going to be about this new Janet Collection wig glue that's popping off this coming July. There are two different formulas to their glues. Along with that, there's also a glue or a bond remover. So you will apply this just like you apply any other wig glue. You want to make sure that it gets tacky before you apply your wig. If you're trying to apply it while it's wet, it's not going to stay in place. So you definitely want to give this, it says 30 seconds, but I would say just count it down. 30 seconds sometimes could be a minute depending on how evenly you're, you're coating the actual glue. They did send me two of their formulas because there are two. Now these, mind you, are just samples, so they're definitely gonna be much bigger than this. This is the Isha Luxury Wig Application, and this is the Absolute. So the Absolute is for wig enthusiasts who love to wear their wigs. You can wear your wig, it says, for a week or more. So you definitely can wear your wig for a couple of weeks if you wanna leave it on. It's supposed to withstand heat, humidity, water and things of that nature so we will be giving the absolute a try but for today we're going to do the Isha firm which is for people like myself who are still wig enthusiasts but I don't really want to sleep with my wig on all the time however this is also for people who like to protect their edges and you guys know that I'm trying to grow back my edges so we are definitely going to use the Isha firm and I will put all of the information below for you guys it's the same concept like I said as you know applying like any type of glue to your head or your hairline you want to make sure that your hairline is clean from any type of makeup or oils you also want to make sure that you are spreading this on evenly and you also want to make sure that it gets tacky before you just apply your wig now I'll probably use my blow dryer just to make sure that everything is intact but before we do that there's also the bond remover which is for you to lightly lift your wig so it does state that you are to lightly lift your wig prior to using this product you just want to spray it on your hairline and then you will be able to let it sit for like three to five minutes and then you can try to loosen your wig now me I would probably want to put a couple of droplets on the actual wig itself because glue is kind of hard to remove especially if it's a, a very strong glue that you can hold for like say a week or two then that's a really good glue but it's very strong so I would definitely probably try to spray a little bit of this prior to just gently lifting it that's just my opinion Let's see how this works out Hopefully it gives me like the longevity of at least a day or two because you guys know I'm one who does not use glue like that. Um, I, I like to use like my styling mousse and my hairspray like I always do and that holds my wigs down for a day or two or three depending on what I'm doing. We're going to see how the Isha firm works because this is the one that is just like for a day or so we're gonna see how that works so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to clean my hairline off once again and I already got my favorite favorite wig cap on I say it's my favorite because I have already applied a makeup to it it has hairspray and mousse on it so it's stiff and it's never going to slide back plus it has the hole in the top so that also keeps it intact and it just has its molded shape so I have been wearing this wig cap for probably like two months and it is going strong, honey. So yes, it does not roll up, which is a good thing because of all the hairspray and stuff. So when you have your favorites, you definitely have your favorites. Alright you guys, so I have went ahead and just cleared my hairline, cleaned it off so you will see the line of demarcation right there. Not so pretty, but you know, it's all about the wig, or the glue rather. And like I said, I'm going to be using the Isha Luxury Wig Fashion and Firm. And this one is for day-to-day -day wig wearers. Um, definitely if you want to keep it on for like a day or maybe two, depending on how you sleep in it. If you want to wear it for like two days without removing it, I would try to keep it on with a good headscarf at night. This will probably definitely help. But, so the wig I'm going to be wearing with this is just a wig that I actually made Okay, so I did notice that there isn't a brush on the on this particular product. It's probably because it is a sample, so I don't want too much to come out. So I'm going to try to put it in like a top. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on this top right here. It looks just like white glue. You guys can see right there. And I just automatically assumed that it had like a brush with it, so I'm just going to use my makeup brush. I want to do this a little bit different because of the way that my lace wig is cut. First, I'm going to apply it just in the front, just 
like in that area right there. I want to allow it to dry for 30 seconds it says. So it is 6.01. So let's count down. Okay, so it's been well over 30 seconds. As you guys can see, the color is fading and it's getting like a little tacky right there. So I'm going to just put another layer because it kind of looks thin. So it does dry fast. So for one, it does dry really quick, which is good because you don't even have to use a blow dryer, especially if you don't have one. You don't want to have to go out and purchase one just to allow your gel or your hair glue to dry. So this is a plus that it dries super fast, which is amazing. 30 seconds and it really did dry. It got, you guys see the, the, um, the glue just kind of like vanishes. So I'm just going to, I decided to put a second layer on just because I'm, I put it very thin. I didn't really know. So that time around I just put two layers which is good you know we always use two well I don't because I use hairspray and mousse but we're gonna see how this holds up I'll definitely let you guys know later on in the evening um, hopefully I won't forget to give you guys an update on the wig and such or how the hold is but you know we'll see okay so it's almost tacky and I really feel like I want to pick up my blow dryer and make sure that it's glued down and I honestly hope that the glue does not like seep through to my wig or show through my wig as you guys see it is drying clear because there is glue all right here and please excuse my jacked up nails so we are going to try this out and I'm just going to put the front portion down first and this is because of the way I actually made my wig or rather cut it okay so the one thing that I do notice is that it does dry up like thin so that is a plus and I'm just going to use my blow dryer I do see just like a little bit of whiteness okay, is it stuck? it is stuck all right so but I do see just like a little bit of whiteness it'll probably like really really clear up so now I'm just going to go over to this side right here Sometimes it's really best to do your wig in like sections instead of just doing it all at once. So I have learned over time to just kind of like do it in small sections. Um, it will also take less time for you as well. And also it also allows your wig to um, just be even. You don't have hair all in the wig glue and stuff. So I do think that, you know doing it in sections is great the one thing I like about this is I notice it's not all stringy and webby like which is great so that is the plus also that it holds the wig down like if you don't want to hold your wig down all day or a couple of days then you know this may just work for you um, especially if you want to get into like water or to the pool this may work for you um it does say that um for the isha isha firm that i'm using that it can withstand heat humidity and everyday activities now the absolute the isha absolute says that it can withstand humidity heat and sports activities and it's a super it doesn't say anything about water for either one of them so I'm not really sure how it's gonna work if you decide to get in the pool um, I would just suggest not dunking your head down you know um, and trying to drench your wig because you don't really want any type of pool water to get in your wigs anyway so but I'm pretty sure that it will hold if you're just trying to be cute and you're you're still in the pool but you're not getting drenched this time around I did put extra so we're going to go ahead and blow dry it a little bit okay so this is really good. I like the hold on this. Um, I'm not going to pull on it too hard because I still want it to settle and cure, cure. But let's see how it cleans up off my actual skin. I'm going to use their remover to just clean up my skin area right there. Okay, 
okay so I'm not really too concerned about it right here because I'm just going to um, brush down my baby hair so And then I'm just going to let it dry the rest of the way on its own because it looks like it is. And then while that's still drying, I'm going to go back to this side. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just do my baby hairs like normal. It's going to take my style mousse. I'm not going to put it on like I normally would. I'm just going to put it on a baby hair. So I'm just going to use a little bit on a brush. It is a strong hold. My skin gives off like a lot of oil and stuff. So... I would hope that this would work for me like all day and even if it was a whole all day maybe into the next you know then that would be great too but I think it has a lot to do basically with one's body chemistry you know what I mean their body temperature or what opposed to like some glues work for some and some don't I'm pretty sure if you're giving off like a lot of oils and stuff and a lot of sweat it's probably not going to hold like you would want it to hold so you'll definitely probably want to do the firm or the absolute which is a little bit more firmer hold um, especially if that one is, is stating that it holds for weeks at a time okay so as I was stating I put the ponytail in so that way you guys can see that the glue can allow you to pull your hair up in a bun or a ponytail especially during the heat so it does hold firmly um, it is a little messy um, just like any glue is so you definitely want to take your time while doing it I think that's a lot of the reasons why I stopped using the glue I mean like what works best for you works best for you um, I don't think that I would use this like on a normal day basis because I already have my own technique but just for those who like to use glue then you know I wanted to show you guys what they had now for one I'll definitely go ahead and try the absolute tomorrow so that way we'll see if it does hold for a couple days because I do have two other wig videos that I want to do and one of them I would like to keep on for a few days so we're gonna see how that goes um and I'm just gonna wear it out like this for the remainder of the day hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I'll link all of the information that I do have down below for you guys and um yeah on the Right, guys so I had the wig on for like about 10 hours and it's actually really stuck so it is time to take it off which I am going to do now so let's see how easy this is to take off versus um, my regular way of removing the wig I do apologize for the lighting I'm just using my phone to record this because I didn't want to set up my camera and stuff so let's see going to take the combs out the back okay so you know what it lifts really easy okay wow okay so it was super easy to remove and of course it does leave like some residue right here which is from the glue um, which shouldn't be too hard to clean off this seems like where I put extra glue um, because in some spots you don't see any spray some of my water in it with conditioner so they did say you can use like the remover but being that it's really not a lot I'm just going to spray this because it's not really in my hair it's just on my skin and probably like a little piece right here is on my hair so I'm gonna just take it off like that and I'm gonna just use this face brush which I only use for my hair and then I just massage this into my hair or my, my skin this I use every night to remove my wigs like when I reply, apply them with like the mousse and a hairspray because sometimes a little bit of hairspray gets in my hair and so I want to just remove it so this glue is like really easy to peel off when you add water to it. And this is water and conditioner. And see, it just came right out. Opposed to like when I put like regular glue in, well not regular glue, but if I use like the um, Ghost Bond, 
gets so stuck in my hair or, my, or anywhere, if it, anywhere that it gets on my hair, it's so hard to come out. So this just like peels right off, which is great. Yeah. On that note, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up, and I'll see you guys in the soon to come.